Um, this is Vicky's old scary lady. <laughs> so if you want to describe it better than that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've done a based, um, basically started with a character from a book that I was inspired by. So I've kind of developed that character further, and um, yeah, developed this this old woman that's kind of. Um, malevolent kind of force that she uh, she has a, a sphere, a ball that I've been making as well out of clear, clear resin that she uh, she is sort of empowered by and doesn't want to um, relinquish that power but it's destroying her ultimately so that's kind of what the piece is about At the moment I'm just painting her so I initially started with maquettes um, decided what sort of form and shape I wanted her to have and then began um, building an armature out of steel and then um, clay, sculpted her in clay and then moulded and casted her and now she's in resin. So at the moment I'm just painting her, which is all in oils, it's just layers, layer upon layer building up. So at present I'm painting her arms, just flicking and sponging paints on. The reason why a lot of them have got their arms missing is because we've got um, to, to, to make the mould work, it's easier yeah. to cut the arms off. Because you can, obviously, if you've got arms like in this sort of position and stuff, like, it becomes a really complex yeah, mould. Yeah, it tra basically yeah. traps the mould in and you can't necessarily separate them. So you can take the arms off to just facilitate moulding. So it's a bit easier. So yeah, that's it really. Yeah. How did you find sculpting without like a life model? Yeah. Um, fine. I think in a way I'm kind of, it was easier for me because it's character based and because it's, it doesn't necessarily have to be exactly true. I'm exaggerating features and you know it's more character than say the life figuring work. So it's basically it comes from your imagination. I use the skeleton a lot, used a lot of anatomy reference books. Um, my, I, for measurements, I use my own measurements so that I could just instantly get a gauge of whether things were in the right position, I was doing things the right way, and it, yeah, it's just sort of about imagination, ultimately, for, for pieces like that. <laughs>